Hello, fellow weirdos. We are back for another edition of Weird Bible Stories with Pastor Pam. It is Thanksgiving week, and what better time is there to talk about a weird Bible story that centers on food? In chapter 4 of the book of Ezekiel, God is once again not happy with the Israelites. They have once again turned away from God, and God is once again planning on punishing them. And this is what God tells Ezekiel. Take a brick that will symbolize Jerusalem. Set it in front of you and build a miniature siege around it with siege works, a wall, a ramp, and camps of soldiers with battering rams. Then take an iron plate and put it between you and the city. Next, I want you to lie on your left side for 390 days, one day for each year of punishment that the people of Israel will face. Then I want you to turn over and lay on your right side for 40 days, one day for each year of punishment for the people of Judah. During this time, you can make bread for yourself, but only use certain ingredients wheat and barley, lentils and beans, millet and spelt, and only eat at specific times of the day and specific amounts. The same with drinking water, because the people of Israel will find themselves dealing with poor food and water conditions during the siege of Jerusalem. Now finally, when you are baking this bread, do it where all the people can see you and cook it on a fire made from human poop. Thus shall the people of Israel eat their bread, unclean among the nations to which I will drive them. Now this was all to prophesy to the people what was to become of them. Understandably, Ezekiel did not like this very much, especially that last part about his cooking fuel. And so he cried out to the Lord, reminding God that he had never broken the Israelite food laws, even as a youth. God relented, allowing Ezekiel to use cow dung as cooking fuel instead. God was angry, very angry with the people of Israel. God wanted to show through the prophet Ezekiel the, that it was sin that was the cause of God's anger. And the people of Israel had turned away from God and hardened their hearts, even during a period of abundance in Jerusalem. This particular sign act that Ezekiel was doing was designed to show the coming siege of Jerusalem and to depict the nasty food that the people would have to eat during the siege. Now, we are currently living in a time that certainly can feel like our lives are under siege. And while God doesn't show anger in quite the same way that we read about in the Old Testament, during this Thanksgiving week when we are reminded both of how much we have and how difficult things can be right now, I invite you to remember God and give glory to God in all things in times of abundance, and in times of despair. And maybe just stick to the oven to cook your Thanksgiving turkey. Thanks be to God. Amen.